OK, guys, here we are on the ZFS stand with a man who needs absolutely no introduction again, Australia's own, our fitness show favourite, Zach Smith's in the house. Zach, man, thanks again for your support. Well, what about those kind words? Crowd favourite, thank you, mate. It's happy to be here, mate. I'm um, having a good time so far. Day number three, uh, see all the athletes kind of... Um, it's been pretty pretty hard. The first two days have been really busy, which is great to see for you guys and also for us. So um, day number three, ready to kind of finish off strong and uh, just finished the workout, as you guys might have seen as well. But feeling good, feeling good. So, mate, you've been a busy boy, I understand, just off the uh, the plane from Italy. Is that right? Yeah, Thursday night I arrived, so a little bit jet lag for the first two days. I think today I've come good. But, uh, yes, I was in Italy for two weeks. Um, my girlfriend's half Italian, so she's over there getting a passport and stuff, so very beautiful. Uh, however, I will mention that the gyms over there are not so good. So I'm um, not feeling in my best shape, but I guess we're never satisfied, are we? And what about when I was in Italy, man, I remember the carb loading. Was it the same for you? Oh, uh, two-week carb load, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, morning, lunch and night, yes. Well, you're coming in full, so that's the one <laughs> upside to it. That's a good way to talk about it, yeah, coming yeah. in full. Yeah. So, man, I want to talk about the progression of Zach Smith over the years. I mean, I remember I met you when you were working on the Flush Fitness stand sort of at the very beginning. Yep. Uh, and I know you are a personal trainer at that point in time. Still are, of course, with your online platforms. But to be able to influence millions of people like you are now, how, has that progression just amazed you? Mate, absolutely. I think from starting out, I think I was here in Sydney about five years ago when I did meet you for the Flush Fitness stand. Um, since then, being a personal trainer in the gym, doing one-on-one -on -one stuff, to um, being able to, I guess, broaden that and uh, have like a landscape of 38 different countries now, which I'm servicing people from all over the world um, from an online platform, which is my website here, um, is, is amazing. And I mean, I think I got to a point doing one-on-one -on -one training where I couldn't, couldn't do any more. Uh, I was getting great fulfillment from that. I was helping my clients achieve their goals. But now to be able to have a platform where I can reach, as you said, millions of people, inspire, motivate, and educate so many people all at one time, uh, is amazing. It's, uh, it's a really gratifying feeling to be where I am now. Very humbling to have people lining up you know, around the corner to, to shake my hand, have a photo. It's, um, it's amazing. The feeling is really good. You talk a lot about just throwing everything at whatever it is your passion is and just going for it and being that entrepreneur and doing it for you. I know it's paid off big time for you and I just want you to give us an insight of what a leap of faith that was and, and for others how they can take that similar leap. Absolutely. I think for myself, uh, at the start, uh, it took a little bit to get a little bit of confidence going, uh, whether it was physical or mental, the confidence. Uh, when I started building that confidence, I felt that investing time and effort into myself and going all in on something that I was passionate about is the most important thing. So if anybody out there that is uh, second guessing themselves or thinking that anything is impossible, um, I really urge you to reconsider because I guess unless I did take that leap of faith and invest 100% effort and time into myself uh, and my vision and my passion, uh, I wouldn't be where I am now. So I think that um, really going all in on, on your greatest passion is extremely important if you ever want to get anywhere in life. And we had a, uh, an Instagram question from one of our followers they wanted to ask. Tell us, what is Flex Your Heart for Robbie? Flex Your Heart for Robbie, uh, well, it's a hashtag on Instagram. I'd love for you guys to go check it out. Hashtag Flex Your Heart for Robbie. It's, a, uh, it's basically a series of videos that I made uh, with a client of mine named Robbie. Um, he has Down syndrome and um, basically when I was first starting out about four years ago, uh, I trained him in the gym for about three or four months, um, helped him lose about 15 kilos. Um, and since then, he's lost another 20 uh, along on his journey. But basically, that was one of the best things that I've done in my career. Um, it was great to learn about him. He learned a lot from me. Um, and yeah, I think, I think that was uh, one of the cornerstones in uh, learning about myself as well. So to be able to, to do that, to help him out, he came and visited me yesterday at the expo uh, with his mum, Glennis, and um, we had a good chat for at least half an hour. And um, I, I don't know, uh, I'd love for you guys to go watch the videos, learn a little bit about, about him um, and our journey together. Um, but yeah, I think to be able to give back and, and give, give things away for free, information or, or help people is something that I'd love to start doing again. Um, do do charity and uh, now not to the, the level that I was doing with Robbie, but I think it's definitely an important part about it. Awesome, man! What an epic story, and I, I mean that must probably be, I'd say, your favourite thing about a fitness show is getting to meet people like Robbie and just Absolutely. inspire, you know, all these people. Absolutely, uh, as I said before, having people, you know, lining up around the corner to, to have a photo, have a chat, uh, and for me to learn about them, them tell me their stories, you know, where they started from, where they are now. Uh, saying that they've even been inspired, even if they're not a client of mine, even if they've just been inspired by videos that I posted on my YouTube channel, uh, on my Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, anything like that. Uh, it's all very, very gratifying and um, it is the best part about the job, is being able to stand here and have, have people come meet me and 
and tell me their stories. Awesome, man. And for you, what's in store for the for the next 12 months? What can we uh, keep our eyes out for? Got a couple of things that are a little bit hush hush, and then a couple of things that are not. And the things that are not are definitely the YouTube channel. So I've got a new sponsorship with Muscle Nation. So there's a clothing brand, Australian clothing brand, and we're going to be going large there. So I'm going to be doing lots of videos, lots more content. So the YouTube channel, for you guys out there that follow my YouTube, I apologize for not being so uh, so frequent on there, but I am going to be back once per week as part of my contract. So it's in, it's in writing. I have to do it. I've committed. So yes, I will be uh, trying to get to that 100,000 subscriber mark on YouTube. I'm um, trying to get out as much free content as I can, anything from meal prep stuff, uh, workout videos, lifestyle, just, uh, I guess, to learn a little bit more about them and then every all my people out there to, uh, to learn a bit more about me. So that's the goal, to, um, I guess, give out as much free information as I can through the YouTube over the next 12 months. Yeah, awesome, man. Well, thanks again. Thank you so much for all your support. It's really been just awesome to have you on board again. Congratulations on all your success. Thanks, mate. We wish you absolutely nothing but the best moving forward and we look forward to the fitness charge later in the year. Sean, thank you for having me. I appreciate it and uh, every show that you throw, have an awesome time. Thank you for all you guys that came and visited me as well. Thanks, hit, hit up Zach online. His, his online coaching platform is truly one of the best in the world. Zach Smith.